Hey everybody, it's Mr. Carr again, and today we're gonna to be talking about 3.2. Today's focus on what's called dilations. So dilation is a brand new transformation. Transformation in which, in this case, it's a transformation in which a polygon is uh, shrinking or expanding. Okay, by a given linear scale factor using a centered point. Okay, so this is a big difference from what we did before. When we did our rotations, translations, reflections, we retained the same size and shape. Those were rigid transformations. This is a non-rigid transformation. So what's happening is something like this. So here's my, it's called my center of dilation. Here's my hand, it's a little bit shrunken here. But then when I dilate it, I might expand it. So it gets bigger from that point. Or I shrink it down. So it's either one. A dilation is going getting bigger or getting smaller. Dilations, so one thing to remember is they do not change the measures of the angles. So even though the sides are changing and the shape is staying the same, so if I take a triangle and I expand it, it's going to be still a triangle. Those angles stay the same though. All right? And so what we're going to talk about now is identifying our dilations. So one thing to always look for is my dilation is trying to describe going from non-prime to prime notation, okay? And so we're gonna, uh, so the first thing we wanna do is identify whether or not it's a reduction or an enlargement. So reduction is when it shrinks, enlargement is expanding. So I can see here, it's going from prime, the bigger one, down to the smaller one. So this is a reduction. Then I wanna find the scale factor. So just like yesterday's video, we're gonna use K to describe the scale factor, all right? <clears throat> so our linear scale factor, we're gonna always do it this way. We're gonna do prime distance divided by the pre-image distance. Where do I end up divided by where I started? So in this case, when I look at distance, if I had the center, that would be helpful, but I'm actually gonna, in this case, because they're two rectangles, I'm just gonna compare the two side lengths that are corresponding. I'm gonna pick easy ones like this. C prime to B prime is two. B, C to B is four. So my K is gonna go from prime, which is two, over four, the original pre-image. Well, let's reduce that, one half. My scale factor here is one half, okay? And that's gonna lead me to this next point. If my scale factor is less than one, then the image is a reduction. So that's one thing to always be aware of. If you have a fraction, it has to be less than one for it to be a reduction right here. That leads me to the other one, which is if K is greater than one, then the image is an enlargement. Enlargement. So that's what we're seeing in this next one. Okay, in B, you can see how it's getting larger. Okay, it's going from this small square or rectangle to the big one. So we have an enlargement. And then I wanna find the scale factor now. So again, I'm gonna do the prime distance, which is gonna give me, ooh, gotta count out a bit. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Whew. My original pre-image, one, two, three. Okay, so that means I get nine over three, which is the same as three over one. So there's my K there, it's three over one. All right, so I would describe the whole thing as an enlargement by a scale factor of three. Okay, so we might do it on a coordinate grid. So you can kind of see these are a couple of like other ways that might look. Here's my center of dilation, here's my original pre-image, and then it gets enlarged by a certain amount. So these distances here are also in that scale factor idea. Here's another one with a pentagon, right? One, two, three, four, five, yeah, pentagon. So that smaller, or that larger pentagon got shrunken down, got reduced to this one. And that center is right here. So that's what we're gonna do on this one. We're gonna look at how these look. The vertices of triangle ABC are, A is at negative three, zero. B is at zero, six, two, three, four, five, six. C is at three, six. So one, two, three, right there, okay. So I'm gonna draw my triangle in. Use scalar multiplication to find A prime, B prime, C prime after a dilation with a center 
at the, that's a typo, at the origin and a scale factor of one third. Okay, so we've graphed ABC. I want to graph its image now. Here's the way to do these. Whenever the origin is my center of dilation, then to transform ABC into A prime, B prime, and C prime, all I have to do is multiply by my scale factor. We know that it, one third is the scale factor, it's gonna reduce. So every single point here gets multiplied by one third. Okay. So to transform these, I'm gonna take negative three times one third is a negative one. Zero times one third is zero. Zero times one third is zero. Six times one third is two. Okay. And then three times one third is one. Six times one third is two. There's my three new points for my image. So if I've got A prime is gonna be at negative one, zero. Uh, B prime is at zero, two. And C prime is at, whoops, one, two. Okay, so there's A prime, B prime, C prime. One thing I always like to highlight is the fact that if I draw a straight line connecting all of my images to pre-images, they all intersect at the center of dilation. Okay, so really the, the distance from the center of dilation to each point is what's being expanded or reduced. All right, example three. Triangle ABC is dilated to form a triangle uh, A prime, B prime, C prime. If AB over A prime, B prime is seven, what is B prime, C prime over BC? It seems like it's a, a little bit of a tricky one because I don't have an image. I don't have any kind of uh, diagram to go off of. But here's what I know. In the first case, I have the pre-image over the image. In the second case, I have image over pre-image because the prime is on top. All that means is if pre-image over image is seven over one, I'm just flipping it to reciprocal. Image over pre-image is one over seven, that's it. Okay, seems like it might be tricky, but it's really not. So my final answer there is one over seven. Okay, um, you try now problems. Again, we'll save these until for class time. We'll do it that way. All right. But go ahead and try them out on your own until we come back together then. All right, and that is it for 3.1. So, or, sorry, 3.2 now. <laughs> All right, take care. I'll talk to you later.